Hello everyone, it's pretty well winter time here. Winter time has kicked in. It's way too early for this cold crap. Anyways, one thing I'm worried about this winter is some of my batteries. Right here I have the battery out of my motorcycle, I have the battery out of my lawnmower, and I want to keep them in good condition over the winter. Now, of course, I bring them in to where it's warm and keep them that way. But also, I want to be sure that they keep a charge. And yeah, you can go out and buy the battery maintainers and stuff like that for it, but I don't have the money for that. And I have an idea. All right, first off the bat, I am going to check the voltage on this battery. And it is setting at 11.4 volts right now. So, keeping that in mind, my battery charger idea. My battery charger maintainer idea, it involves a regular old wall wart. I think I have one from an old wireless router. It's rated at 12 volts at one amp something like that and I also have these nifty connectors here these go from these barrel type plugs into these little screw terminals and it just plugs in like so that's great that way you don't have to hack off the end of your wires and then I have another little connector block here but how I'm doing this is on this connector on the positive side I have a 1k resistor and then that is just going into this connector and on this side of this connector I have a little green LED um, the positive side is the anode side of the LED so the longest leg of a brand new LED or the side of the LED that's rounded not the flat side if you look at an L LED real close it's got a flat side and a rounded side that flat side is the cathode side, or in other words, like your negative side. And an LED is pretty much just a diode, so it lets the power go through it in one direction, but not the other. So, this is my thinking. Let me get a piece of paper here and show you my theory of how this will work. All right, this is my battery terminals here, my positive, my negative. Now my little 12 volt wall wart right here, I'm going to connect the negative side of it straight to the battery. Now the positive side, run through the resistor, run through the LED, to the positive side of the battery. So, the power can go through the resistor. Now the resistor limits the amount of current that can go through this down to um, maybe a couple hundred milliamps, I'm guessing right now. I have not exactly f did the math on this to figure out what it's putting out. But that keeps the LED from blowing out and the LED also will be a indicator. Now, as mentioned before, the LED lets the power go through it in one direction, but not the other. So here's my plan. If this battery is at 11.4 volts, now I know you're looking at this upside down, I'm sorry, um, and this is at 12 volts, well this is going to be slowly putting at maybe a couple of hundred milliamps a charge into this battery. Well, I'm thinking when this battery reaches 12 volts, the same as this is putting out, it should shut the LED off because then nothing is flowing through. Because the battery is at the same voltage as what the power supply is putting out. Now, this is theoretical. I really don't know if this is properly done. So if you know, please leave a comment below and let me know. So that's my idea. So when the battery reaches 12 volts, the LED should go out because then the 
power, the voltage on each side of the LED is exactly the same. Instead of having 12 volts on one side and say as of right now 11.4 volts on the battery side. So hopefully that makes some sense and like I said I'm not really too sure if it works. So there I've got my powered up to it and then if I take these two wires and touch them together you'll see there we go the LED comes on. So when I connect these wires up to the battery, the LED should come on. And then when the battery gets up to the same voltage as what my power supply is putting out, it should kick off. So I'm going to connect my LED to the positive side of the battery. And then the negative ground the negative side of the battery. Double check everything. We're good, we're good. Now, if you look and see, it might be kind of hard to see here, the LED's on. So I'm thinking that when this battery gets up to 12 volts, the LED should go off. And then if the battery over the winter loses a little bit of charge, well, guess what? The voltage on the battery will be less than the power supply, and it will trickle that back into the battery nice and slow and keep it at a maintained at a steady voltage. So, check, uh, check the voltage on this thing one more time. 11.4 still. So we're gonna give it a few hours and see what happens. So in a few hours, I will return and see what happens. The next day. Okay, it's the next day now and a little update on what I've done here. Battery has been sitting on this so far for roughly 24 hours. And we'll check the voltage on it. And it is up to 11.5 volts now. If you remember right, we started out at 11.4. So, being that this will be on this for a matter of months, this might work. It is very very slowly trickle charging it um one little thing i've done here is i have a second battery here this is the battery out of the lawnmower i just tied the two negatives together and i pretty much just copied what i did with a 1k resistor and the led and then the wire going to the positive I just cop pretty much just duplicated that so I've got a green LED for the motorcycle battery, the red one for the lawnmower battery. And right now the lawnmower battery is setting at 12.7. So this might actually work. I don't know if it's gonna like Shut off when the voltage gets up kind of on my thoughts, you know the voltage on each side of the LED Equalizing out to where they are the same And the LED going off. I don't know if that's going to work I might play around with something different to experiment with that But so far I think I'll be satisfied with how this will work best I can tell it's just charging these at maybe a couple hundred milliamps which is a really really low and slow charge so I don't know it might work um like I said if you have any better knowledge of if this is something that's going to work please comment below and let me know and after some time I'll put up another quick little update video and see if this little experiment is actually working. All right, well, I hope you got something out of this. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. I'll see you later.